Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 82 with me Craig Barton. And this will be the final week where we have a look at complete lessons that have been uploaded to the TES Maths website. And the idea behind this series of, of videos is to get an, a flavour for how teachers plan entire lessons instead of looking at isolated activities and, and worksheets and stuff like that. So the final one we're going to look at um, is a lovely lesson, that, um, in my opinion, that's been uploaded by Mr. Mathematics. It's addition and subtraction with negative numbers. Now, the reason I've chose this one is because in terms of kind of resources and PowerPoints, perhaps it's not as comprehensive as some of the ones we've seen before. But I quite like that because it allows you as the teacher a bit of flexibility to adapt it for the needs of your students. So in terms of the uh, resources covered, we have a PowerPoint, we have um, a lesson plan, we've got a worksheet, and we've got a lovely interactive um, Excel uh, resource as well. So uh, let's take a look at the lesson plan first. And it's always nice when, uh, when teachers include lesson plans because that gives you a real insight, not only into how they plan this particular lesson, but also the way the school um, expects them to plan lessons and how they think about their, their mathematics as well. So this is all about adding and subtracting with negative numbers. Got some nice little learning objectives there as well. Um, and starter introduction is about recap, recapping, placing positive and negative numbers. So let's have a look at that. We've got a nice little ordering activity there. and We've got some nice number lines to help them. Um, interesting, but big, big debate always in maths whether the number line should be going horizontal and vertical. Um, I'm, I'm Personally, I'm a fan of the old vertical number line, but it's a real pain sometimes to set up in the classroom, whereas a nice horizontal one you can have going across the top of the top of your class. Uh, anyway, that's a little aside. So a nice little um, ordering of negative number activity to start off with. And then let's return to the lesson plan to see what's coming next. Uh, use the number line in the second slide to demonstrate for the first question and then work through a number of examples. So let's take a look at that. So we have the kind of key consolidation. But I like this here because um, it, it's, it's nicely structured in terms of um, how it develops. So we get some nice simple ones, but then we get some nice gaps for the students to fill out. And then I'm a big fan of this as well, some, whether you call these arithmogons or some difference, whatever you want to call them. But it's just a slightly nice little, uh, little challenge for the students to get to practice their key skills with A and B, but then they have to start thinking a little bit more logically for C and D. So I'm a big, big fan of those. Uh, back to the lesson plan to see what classics we've got coming next. And uh, we get the third slide here for the opportunity for the students to work independently. So this is a very much a, sh a structured approach. And now students work uh, through these um, arithmogons independently. And again, I'm a huge, huge fan of these. Uh, you get your key consolidation um, in part A, but then you get your more problem solving. And by the time you get to D, the students are really having to think of the different possibilities to do that um, as well. Um, I should say as well, going alongside this is you've got a lovely little worksheet for the students to complete um, either in class um, or to do for homework and they're different questions than the one that they've been given in class and lo and behold look at this as well we also have the answers which is all, always goes down well with me and I know other, other users on the TES website when teachers do that and last but certainly not least if we just return to our lesson plan here We've got a plenary, final slide for students to work through independently. And, and as Mr. Mathematics says, this is an opportunity for the students to apply their learning in a slightly different context. So let's take a look at that one. And there indeed we have it, some wonderful magic squares with positives and ne positive and negative numbers. So a really nice lesson that, and I, I remember when I first started teaching, got 10 years ago now, and I would plan lessons on negative numbers. I'd be crying out for something like this because flipping out my lessons would have been pretty dull uh, back then. So anything like this um, always goes down well with me. And I love the fact that we've got that lesson plan there so we can see exactly how this lesson uh, lesson's structured. And notice it's not a big complicated thing or anything like that. And that PowerPoint is only four slides, but that contains everything you need, I believe, uh, to deliver a really, really excellent, high quality, engaging and challenging lesson on addition and subtraction with negative numbers. So there it is. I think that's our fifth complete lesson that we've looked at in this series. I hope you found it useful. If so, maybe drop us an email or something and I might bring these back um, in the next academic year. I um, hope all's well with you all and I'll be back for our last couple of uh, resource of the weeks of this academic year. Very sad time. Um, take care and see you then.